What's going on everyone? My name is Mighty Fishstick and welcome to Love Sam. I don't know what this game is entirely about. Well, that's nice. I got a little heart on the wall. Oh, I like it. I like that little heart. That's that's pretty beautiful. I like it. Alright, so anyway, uh this game I found on Steam, it was like three dollars. It was it looked it had really good positive reviews and I wanted to play it for myself because I haven't been on I haven't been recording things in a while and I wanted to get back and record something for you guys. And, uh, oh, it is raining like crazy outside. I got a nice desk here. What's this? My dirty little secret. Your dirty little secret, what? Who's dirty little second? Read on to move on. Oh, okay. Um, hold on. I'm not, I'm not ready yet. Get out of the chair. What is my mouse sensitivity? Jesus. All right, can I open up the bathroom? I can. Yes. What the frick is this noise? Anyway, I have no reflection apparently. I'm a freaking ghost. Or a vampire, whatever you want to call me. Anything behind a shower curtain? Hello. Anything back here? No, nothing apparently. Okay, let's shut this door. It's not a it's not a bad place, I guess. Alright, let's uh Hello? Who shut this door? Okay. Whatever, I guess. Alright, let's... Let's read it. Let's do it. Let's do it. My, my dirty little... Can I... Can I... Can I read it? Ah, oh, there we go. Jesus Christ, what is this reading? Alright. The last human on Earth was sitting alone in a room. There came a knock on the door. Okay. I've never cared for keeping it... Hello? Apparently I have a head of an owl and I can just look around me. Never cared for keeping a diary, but now seems like a good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I just can't forget about what I used to, uh, what used to be the light of my life. I know, over dramatic much. Knowing Brian, uh, Brian Colmer as much as I did, I bound to leave that big chunk of residue. Uh, okay. Whoa! You! Don't do that. You back off. Uh, let's just say this diary is what's left of our relationship. What do you mean, what's left of our relationship? Did we date? Back off. All right. Uh, th three years? No, three years have passed and the world around me is still the same. Well, except for me. I look like a mummified corpse. What would B say if he saw me again? B left Rosen peaked the moment he graduated high school to go to a fancy college of his own dreams. Since then, I could never, I could only rely on my memories of him to keep going. I wonder if it was the same for him. No idea. No idea. I don't like the fact that there's noises happening around me while I'm reading this. It's raining outside like crazy. Oh, I like go to a little park or something. I mean, a little rain doesn't hurt you. When you love someone, his whole existence just gets attached to your brain. So no matter how much B changes, I will always know him. But will B do the same for me? I know B liked uh, me a lot too, but he was the most uh, likely person to remember stuff. Considering how long three years felt for me, it's possible he did forget about me. Or am I f giving him too little credit? So here comes the big question. Oh yeah, will he remember me? Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god, why is there a Ouija board on this? <laughs> That's a little... It's a little creepy. It's a little creepy. Uh, I can't turn it, so I'm guessing there's something that I need to go pick up to put for the monocle or something like that. What's with those noises that I was hearing? Wait, can I grab my pencil? <gasps> oh, I can! Uh, yes. Aha. Next on. Okay. Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We Knock it off! Okay. Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We didn't have the most perfect relationship, but he won't just dump his memory of me down the toilet or something. He's too much of a nice guy for that. And don't forget, cute. Aw, oh, well, thank. Oh, shucks. Don't do that. Stop. Alright. I just hope our time together was meaningful enough to him. Enough to make him cherish even the darkest ones. <laughs> Are like, complete... You better knock it off right now. 
it's storytelling time, not scary time. Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder what happened to Joe's Diner. It used to be my favorite place, naturally because it was B's favorite place to begin with. If there were two things that were too good for Rosen Peak, it would have been Brian and Joe's Diner. Oh. Home of the best pancakes in the world, Brian Colmer. Oh, yeah. Best pancakes in the world. Okay. Things were so much easier back then. B could just go, hey, and I would be like, hey. Nothing but hanging out after that was some occasional visit to Colton Hill. We had such a good thing going. Yeah, yeah, we did. I remembered this. Will you remember my voice? Hello? 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 H Hello? Did you sleep dial me? Okay, well, thanks. That, that, I appreciate that. Alright, anyway. Will you say hey to me again? Did time already run out for the moments? I don't know. What do you mean? It's weird. I just wanted to say hello every time I called him. But what I want to do and can do are two different things, as always. Just annoying, enjoy B's presence on the other side of the phone was satisfying, too, in a way through. Uh, I imagine him eagerly waiting to hear something other than my breath. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't do that. You don't do that. You keep out of my window. I'm just going to tell you that right now. You keep out of that window. Don't you do that. Okay. I wish I could sneak into people's minds, look beyond their eyes, and just by staring. <laughs> you get out of my window. If I had that power, I would never stop looking through B's window. <laughs> you stay out of my window. <laughs> you get out of my window now. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh my god, hello. Uh, that was a D-butt outfit. I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high sc school years were probably over. Judging from their whispers and I figure out that they didn't know a way were uh, accepted transfers. I've been less than 24 hours since I moved into Rosen Peak and I already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than attempt than socializing with other people who call me city girl. Well, screw you too, hillbillies. Besides, I decided... <laughs> Not to force myself into making friends after how m my old friends decided to turn on me. Keeping a diary sure can help keep things together in all these and in all this chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but this seems like a good time to restart. Uh, oh shoot, almost forgot calling her. Write you later, diary. My only true friend, love Sam. Now entering Rosen Peak. Well, that sounds fanta fantastic. I knew someone's gonna be there. I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that. What? I don't like the drawing on the next page. Will B remember the moment he came into my life? For me, it is as clear as the moment he left. So clear that the downfall of our relationship still cuts deep into my heart. Oh god, I'm so scared to flip this page. I don't even want to. Oh my god, okay. But we're not gonna even have to, guys, because I'm ending it right here. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This game was fantastic. You guys should check it out for yourselves. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go check it out for yourselves. This is looking like it's gonna be a really fun game, so I can't wait for you all to see it. So, I'll see all of you in my next video. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye.